leave you in Puerto Rico tomorrow. Ah! It is currently 6.36 p.m. My flight from JFK takes off now at 10.20 p.m. So I'm now supposed to get into Puerto Rico at 2.39 a.m. I hope all goes well and it doesn't continue to get delayed. Excited for the adventure. Stay updated. I cannot fucking believe I'm going on a solo trip by myself. This has literally been a goal of mine for you. It's kind of big, so I definitely don't think that it's a hotel. See what my outside view is. Probably ain't shit. Okay, well, it's hella dark, so. Damn. Not them having a stick for short people to grab. Hey, they smart. Okay, I like that. I don't even know what this area is. This shit look pointless. What's this over here? Oh, okay. I'm not even gonna open that. Where's the bathroom? Oh, okay. Is there a bathroom in here? Oh, it's pretty spacious in here. Hey! <laughs> oh, I needed that toothpaste. Shout out to them for that, for real. Okay, cute. I'm not mad at this at all. Let's see what the shower looks like, though. It's decent. It looks clean in here. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. I'm gonna plan on walking most places. I do want to go to the beach a little bit. I wanna explore Old San Juan, see a little bit of Condado, maybe Isla Verde if I can make it over there. There are a lot of like different forts and attractions that you need to see in Old San Juan that is, you know, just the heart of the city. And given I was back here in 2016, but I don't remember doing any of that. So I'm gonna do that on my own time. I'm about to pack my bag and get ready to go. Here's my little fit. I'm wearing this bikini. These shorts that I've had forever. I think I'm gonna wear my yellow Crocs because if I go to the beach, but I'm also like, mm, I'm gonna be walking all day, so I don't know. Here I am, so maybe you can see my fit better. I kinda look like I have abs, kind of. Anyway, I love me a backpack, like. <laughs> I feel like I look so touristy whenever I hold a tripod, but you know what? Beach. This beach that I'm at is called El Nerio El Escambron. Um, it's super cute. It's really small. I'm excited. It is so hot, but the sun feels so good. I'm ready to get tan as fuck. I'm ready to get baked. Not literally, just figuratively, because I don't smoke. See your view. I know, as bad. I know. <laughs> I'm about to get in this water. I feel like it's gonna be perfect. Right now, I'm hot as fuck. Life is so beautiful. Like, I don't know. It's just, I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful to be here right now. I feel so thankful to be in the position to where I'm able to come here. I feel so blessed and so thankful. push it through because I really just want to like walk while I'm out here as much as possible and just see the city. Halfway through the meal and then they 
gave me a whole new one because I thought there was a hair in it, but it was actually just the banana leaf. But they gave me a whole new one anyway, so I'm gonna eat it. I literally just took like a two hour nap. I was out all day. I got the worst tan lines. Like I'm gonna have to show y'all later cause I'm about to go eat din din. What time is it? I had a whole plan to go eat dinner in Santurce and then go dancing. I'm exhausted and I have to pick up my rental early tomorrow. So I don't want to be too tired to not do that. And I have a long day tomorrow because I'm planning on going to El Yunque. And then I also want to go to Fajardo. Also Luquillo. I think I'm going to try and hit that all. So maybe if I'm not too tired, I could go tomorrow. But I'm not too pressed about it. I got these really cute sandals from Marshalls. I was like, oh. Anyway, I had such a great day today. Honestly, it was so fun. I'm gonna go eat dinner. I'm not taking my camera with me because I don't want to be head ass. So I'll film in on my phone if I can. I'm excited for tomorrow. I'm excited to see what driving out here is like. I can't imagine that it's any worse than driving in Oakland or New York, honestly. I'll see you at dinner. And then if not dinner, I will definitely see you in the morning. Hasta mañana. Day two of my solo trip. Today, I'm gonna go get my rental car. So excited and scared at the same time. The weather, it's kind of like cloudy, overcast, and sunny. I think the rest of the week that I'm here, it's gonna be raining. The 15 minute walk from where I'm staying to where I need to go pick up my rental car. Excited to see what type of car they give me. <laughs> I'm so tired. I still feel like I haven't gotten enough sleep while I've been here. Honestly, I have really bad sleep. Since being here, I don't know why. I feel like I've been tossing and turning. I get like an hour of sleep and then I wake up in the middle of the night and then it's hard for me to go back to sleep. I don't know why. I was walking so much yesterday. My shoulders got a little burnt. They're a little sore, but other than that, I had a really good day yesterday and I'm super excited for today. The rental has been secured. I'm in a Hyundai Kona. I hate this car. Like, no offense, my brother drives this car and it's just so ugly. Like, looks like a wussy car. And I wanted to get a Jeep and all that good shit because I be seeing videos of people buy Jeeps out here and stuff like that. But that shit is hella expensive. That shit was like a thousand dollars. This right here was two hundred dollars and I'm gonna have this for like six days. So I don't know how much gas is out here. I don't think that it's actually that expensive. And then like tolls and stuff like that if I have to pay. Yeah, we lit. We outside. I'm super excited. I'm gonna get to driving. I can't drive and you you know video at the same time it takes about like 45 minutes for me to get there so that's my plan all right see y'all soon two seconds later kids don't do this at home don't drive and record and hold the tripod at the same time i just want to say it is so pretty it smells like shit but it's so pretty I took a different route to El Yunque. He told me to go to Playa Vasilla just because it's so much prettier. I don't, oh, do I wanna get out? Okay, I'm like, I just kinda wanna look at it. It's so pretty, oh my God. So pretty, I definitely need to come back here before I leave, like the water looks perfect. Okay, so now that I'm at Playa Vasilla, I am now gonna go to El Yunque. Shout out to bro who helped me at Enterprise because now I don't have to pay tolls to go to El Yunque. 
so if I'm not mistaken, I think I'm low-key in El Yunque now. I went and spoke to somebody and they said just to drive up and then just stop at the areas of interest. So I didn't know that it's like mostly you drive and then there are parts where like you get out and I think that's where you do the water slides or you go and like look at the waterfall. I'm at the first little rest stop. This is Coco Falls. Super cute. Pretty. I challenge myself right now and climb up these rocks. I'm a little afraid because I don't feel like these Nikes are very supportive. But you know what? I guess we're fucking here and we might as well fucking do it. Jesus Christ. Just slippery. I see motherfuckers got water shoes on and shit. I probably should have got some water shoes, bro. What an idiot. There is like a little rainbow. I don't know if you can see it, though. just started raining so I don't want to bring my camera out there but I think that I'm gonna go face the rain fuck it I brought two towels because I had a feeling that it was gonna rain I mean we're in the Caribbean so I don't give a fuck if we get wet we get wet I mean who gives a fuck a little bit of water I'm gonna leave my camera in here because I don't know how water resistant this is I'm gonna take my phone though here's if you get a little bit of wet it's just water bitch I look good bitch I look good I'm in Puerto Rico by myself that bitch like i don't give a fuck sometimes i like don't know how to feel about myself and i'm like damn am i really that girl but you know what i really am that fucking girl it's so fucking pretty this is this through because I didn't bring a towel with me like an idiot like do I put my socks on with my wet feet or I guess I'm just gonna have to take this L I really should have brought my socks because I had Crocs in the car I'll put them on for the next place uh, because how fucking crazy do I look to be wearing a bikini and then sneakers in the forest like bitch <laughs> people ask like why I'm so bold and why I'm so confident I really don't know what to say Honestly, I don't know why I feel so comfortable to be half naked on the side of the freeway right now. Like, I really don't give a fuck. Living my life, bitch is on vacation. Don't fucking judge me. I think if you go to El Yunque, just be prepared that this is the Caribbean, so it can rain at any moment. It's a part of the adventure. I'd say just like, bring the clothes that's necessary. I sure didn't. Oh my God, it's pouring. As soon as my park just stopped raining, but I have a feeling. It's gonna start raining again in any second. I'm also really, really hungry, so I'm like, well, should I turn around now? Okay, I'm not gonna stay up here for long. I actually can't see anything. Experience has been so nice, so fun. I like not being on anyone else's time except for myself. Um, that was something I was considering before coming to El Yunque if I should do a tour or whatnot because I was scared to be lost and I'm literally by myself. I don't know anybody here. Nothing's went bad. I mean, I'm very happy about this experience thus far. I definitely recommend if you're thinking about doing it. I don't have anything planned for this trip. I'm really just winging it. Fourth side, I think, Baño Grande. Everything is so beautiful here. Turn around. Beautiful. So many written reviews and stuff like that saying not to go to El Yunque if it is like overcast or cloudy. And I think that you just need to take that risk and go like you're in the Caribbean, you never know what's gonna happen. It's so beautiful either way. So hungry right now. It is I think almost one. I went and got my rental at nine this morning, so I've really been on the road since then and I have not ate. I'm starving. We do have some food places up here, the national parks and stuff like that. I don't wanna eat that because I know that it's not like traditional Puerto Rican food. I do want to note that I think it is possible to take an Uber to El Yunque, but the thing is it's difficult to get one going back down because there is very little reception. I'll show you my rental. Yep, they gave me this ugly ass red Hyundai Kona. Kona's are so 
ugly, bro. They're like the equivalent of Volkswagen. I'm about to eat. I'm so hungry. I'm so tired. It's 1.43. This place is called Kioscos de Loquillo. It's just like a bunch of little kiosks like this. This is where I was told to go because there's good food here. Okay, so there's bicalitos, flour-based batter loaded with codfish, pepper, cilantro, and spices. And then this is alcapuria. This shit is hot. Ooh, mm, look at that meat. There we go. Oh, no, hot. Mmm, this is good. This is alcapuria, this is the bicalito. I like this one. My review at Kioscos de Luquillo. I feel like they're all selling basically the same thing as what I just ate. So I don't really want to eat any more of that. I really want like a meat stick. We will continue venturing out to try and find my meat stick. We're gonna go to Playa Escondido. Hopefully I can find a meat stick on the way. That's my plan. I'm pulling the fuck over once and if I find one. So, let's go. Where are we going to the meat stick? Where are we going to the meat stick? Where I'm gonna get my meat stick from. I feel a little bad. I'll be eating them right here. Please, I am so excited to eat. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. I got pinchos pollo and credo. Mm, this looks hella good. Looks like it's gonna be the best thing I've ate so far. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh my, it's so fat. Mm. I think this was $3.75. See how big this meat is? It's nothing like chicken on a stick. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Really needed this. I really needed this. Meat stick really did it for me. Really just made me so happy. I'm at the beach. I'm at Playa Escondido in Fajardo. So I'm excited. This water feels good. Good as fuck. Oh, that's cute. It's a little jump off me. I won't be jumping. I feel like if I were to live near a beach, I could never be unhappy. Every time I go somewhere, I'm like, damn, I feel like I really need to move out of the States because life is just too fucking beautiful. Like, I'm at peace right now. Of course, it's literally pouring, like about to start pouring. <laughs> I put my shit away. <gasps> Tell me dropping my phone. Thing got more skewers, aka pinchos, because I'm literally obsessed. So fucking good, and then coconut water. It's nothing like eating by yourself on a Friday night. I'm so excited. It has been a fucking day. Oh my god, what time is it? 9 12. I have been out since 8 40 this morning. I am so exhausted, but man, it has been such a good day. So productive. So much food has been ate. I still really, really, really want to go salsa dancing. I'm leaving the hotel that I'm in tomorrow morning, and then I'm staying in Rincon for four nights, and then I'm coming back to San Juan Condado area for my last night. So hopefully, like around that area, I can find something. I know Rikon is known to be a lot more low key, but there are a lot of neighboring cities, areas. We'll see right now, I'm gonna call it a night. I am so tired. Yes, thank you so much for spending the day with me. I can't believe I've only been here for two days. I feel like I have done so fucking much and I'm so excited to see the rest of the west side of the city. I'm so, so excited. So I'll see you in the morning, fatties. Thank you for spending the day with me.